hello everybody and welcome to another youtube video and uh, in today's video we are going to be talking about the concept of binary logistic regression we are going to be using this card data set to actually perform binary logistic regression or we can say we are going to be building a binary logistic regression model unlike the simple and multiple linear regression where we have to perform regression on two numerical variables that is that uh, the dependent variable has to be numerical and the independence variable also has to be numerical for a binary logistic regression our dependence variable must actually be categorical in nature that is a variable that can never take a numerical value and uh, by binary it means that it must only have two outcomes probably things like gender you know that's male or female or responses like yes and no so whenever you want to predict the value of a categorical variable that have just two outcome from several independent variable then the concept of the binary logistic regression comes into the picture so right here i'll be using the car data set to actually perform the binary logistic regression and as you can see we have couple of numerical variables right here from the car id down to the symbol in down to um the price then we have uh, some categorical variables right here so i would want to predict the fall type which is uh right here this variable right here that has just two outcome it has um gas and diesel so i'll be using this as my dependence variable and i'll be using it to work with other independent variables so i come to analyze and then i come to regression then i locate the binary logistic regression and it brings out this dialogue okay so it asks for the dependent and it asks for the covariates now the covariates are also known as the independence variable so for my dependence variable it's going to be the fall type okay so i slide this down down to the fall type now i'm using the fall type here because like i said earlier on it has just two outcome okay that is gas and diesel now, now whenever we have uh, a categorical variable that have more than two outcome then in that case we are going to be using what we call a multi nominal logistic regression which i'll be treating in the next video so for now we are all about a dependent variable that has just two outcome and it is actually categorical in nature so i have the four type i send it in right here so after having that so i have to impute my independent variables okay so i can just probably pick horsepower hold down control then pick uh, rpm i can also pick the stroke i can send that in here okay then i can also decide to throw in one or two categorical variables right here. so i can just throw this in right here okay and i send this in so once i send in a categorical variable right here i have to come right here okay so click on categorical and let spss know that i have actually included a categorical variable as the independence variable as part of the independence variable rather or the covariate so if i click on that you're going to see something right here the reference category so this is actually very important for calculating the odd ratio so spss is asking you if it wants to calculate the odd ratio should it do that based on the first category or the last category so for our car body right here we have convertible we have hatchback we have sedan we have hatchback you know i think they're like couple of them so spss is asking you if it's calculating the odd ratio should it do it based on convertible which is the first category or i think the last category is wagon it's asking you that so i can just choose last and i can choose first depends on you i'll be choosing last right here so i just decide to put in last i click on continue and uh we can add as much uh variables we want as the covariates but i will just be sticking to four of them and we can come to options you know you actually want to click on uh, the confidence interval for your exponential of b so the exponential of b right here is the odd ratio and that is the exponent of the slope that relates the dependence variable and the independence variable okay so um we don't need to like use this uh, goodness of fits uh, because according to research i was told that this is actually not uh, a good way to actually fit a data when it comes to logistic regression so i won't be clicking on this goodness of fit okay so um i click on continue and then i click on okay it runs the test okay and um it actually gives us a whole 
lot of variables. So the first is what we'll call the case processing summary. So it actually tells us the selected cases, the unselected cases. Okay, this is actually fine. We don't need to like pay attention to this. So for the dependence variable encoding, it's telling us that for the car type, so for the car fault type rather, you know, it says that diesel is actually equals to zero and it is coding gas as one so you actually pay attention to that so for the categorical variable codings it's trying to tell us that okay the categorical variable that i actually introduced as the independent variable it has actually coded it using one two three four right here so so the variables in the equation all right so uh, we have uh, the slope we have the standard error we have the test statistics which is the world test statistics we have the degree of freedom we have the significance and we have we have the exponential of the slope which is called the odd ratio so we come back to this uh the variables not in the equation we don't really need to pay attention to this and then the model summary this is um so this is like the r squared that we are going to be using to define our model and based on that we can use either of these two we can use 0 0.368 which is the cox new r squared or we can use the nagel kirk r squared either of this so depends on what you're working on or your preference so i'll be using 0 0.779 because it has higher r squared so this is these are actually pseudo r squared okay because our logistic regression is not really dealing with mostly numerical variables because some parts of it are categorical so we don't have a full r squared we have what we call a pseudo r squared so uh, we have the classification table right here and then we have the variables in the equation and this is where we have to pay attention to okay so we have uh the confidence interval for the exponential of the slope which is also known as a 95 percent confidence interval for our odd ratio we have the exponential of the slope which is the odd ratio itself we have the significance we have the degree of freedom we have the wild test statistics we have the standard error and we have our slope so let us start with the significance uh, we can see that uh, the gas type of the car is actually significance to the stroke that is the stroke of the car is going to be having an effect on the type of uh, car that we are talking about based on either it is a gas or it is actually uh, a diesel okay so we have the horsepower our horsepower is also significant with the fuel type. Uh, the peak RPM is also significant with the fuel type. And then, but the car body is not significant with the fuel type, which really makes sense because the type of body that a car has is not supposed to have a relationship with whether the car is using diesel or it's actually using gas and as you can see all of that is actually insignificant from car body one to car body two to car body three to car body four all of them are actually insignificant so let us try to interpret the odd ratio and that will be done based on the car body because it is actually categorical with the dependent variable so i want to check whether i use last or first i wasn't really sure so let me quickly glance through that okay so i come to the binary logistic so i think i actually used a uh, last okay okay i use last okay so uh, this simply means that if a car is picked at random okay the chance that it is actually going to be of car body one and at the same time it's going to be using gas is uh, the odd ratio of that is actually four hundred and four million one hundred and seventy four thousand and seven and the odd ratio of a car picked at random is going to have a car body two at the same time it's going to be using gas i'm saying gas here because we actually uh use our categorical reference as last and uh, our model also said that um gas is actually the last so diesel is first and gas is the last so that is zero one so that's the reason why i said from the onset you can actually choose your reference point so the one that suits you so our odd ratios right here were actually calculated any odd ratio we calculate right here was actually done based on the last reference category and our last reference category right here was actually based on gas so and this is how you build a binary logistic regression in SPSS or we can say and this is how you build a binary logistic regression model in IBM SPSS if you learned something new from this video and you also enjoy this video I would really appreciate if you can give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this YouTube channel do you think I missed something or you have some questions for me please go down to the comment section and drop your answers I will be willing and be ready to actually answer all of your questions okay thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one bye for now